Hello and welcome to Nick's Maths. Term 3, week 4, lesson 13. The commutative property of multiplication. Commutative comes from the word commute, which can be defined as to move around or travel. Now, according to the commutative property of multiplication, changing the order of the numbers we are multiplying does not change the product or the answer. For example, 5 times 3 equals 15. Therefore, 3 times 5 equals 15. When I think of commute, I think of traveling to work. Now, normally, I go one route to work. But if there's a roadblock or a construction site, I have to change that route. And that is like the commutative property. I change the route, but the outcome's the same. I arrive at work. Now, it's important that we understand that the numbers that we are multiplying in this exercise are called the factors. And the answer we are getting from multiplying the factors is the product, which is the answer. So our learning intention today, we are learning to recognize and apply the commutative property of multiplication. And we know that we can do that if we can represent a multiplication problem in two different ways with the same product or answer. And if we can understand what commutative means in relation to multiplication. Likely difficulties. When working with arrays, we need to be careful about what factor represents the equal groups and which factor represents the amount in each group. And we must remember and apply the commutative strategy, which states any order will get you the same product. Equipment. You will need a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, sheets of paper, textures if you have them, and the plastic counters that are enclosed in your pencil case. Maths language, commutative, to move around or travel. Array, an arrangement of objects or numbers in columns or rows. Factor, a number that can be divided equally into a larger number. Multiplication, the process or skill of multiplying. Division, splitting a quantity into smaller groups. Product, the answer. Instructions, watch my video that is attached and then we're going to develop our multiplicative thinking through arrays made of counters, or we're going to draw them as dots. You'll need your math book, and you can use counters or dots to differentiate the groups. Here's an example. So, the commutative property of multiplication. So I have two times three, which is two groups of three, and I've represented them as colored dots is the same as three times two. So three groups of two, which I've represented as colored dots. So that's what I would like you to do in this exercise. Represent them as arrays. Two times three equals three times two. Another example of that. So we have four groups of five is the same as five groups of four. So that's the commutative property at work. Four times five is the same as five times four. So I would like you to do that with the following numbers in your maths book. Two times three, four times five, eight times three, six times five, 10 times four, seven times three, five times one, 11 times five, 12 times two and nine times four. And it has to be set out like this. So you recognize that four groups of five is the same as five groups of four. Do them as the dots, lay them out as your counters, and then do them as the sums down the bottom. Once you've done that, you can reflect on what you've done. Do you understand the commutative property of multiplication? Can you see the patterns? Explain. What did you learn as a mathematician? How do you know your understanding is correct? What are some of the difficulties that you faced? Once you've done this, please send annotated photos, upload to Compass. If this is too difficult, write a response or upload your JPEG or Word document to me uh, at my email or ask me in class. If you have any questions, you can ask me in class or you can send me an email. Stay safe. Keep mathematics.